All right, so you can see the taper we have here and the taper we have here. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this section up from about here to here and let it expand just a little bit so that we can bring a lot of the flex back to in here and we can fix this portion over here. So we're going to do that. I'm going to turn on the heat gun. Now you want to go gently. You don't want to heat it too fast. So you want to concentrate most of your heat right up here because this is where most of your expansion needs to take place. So you can see that it's heating up, but it's really uneven. So this is where it takes a lot of feel. You've actually got to heat the rest of this up until it puffs up just like that. So you want your minimal thickness right here, and you want this thickness taper to be similar to it right over here. All right, so now that it's almost back to round, you just want to flatten it. You turn this off, and you see how it's large. You just want to keep pressing it down the way you did the handle when you were smashing it. And it's really important to keep keep it straight because it's really easy at this point to actually ruin your uh, ruin the bow by making it crooked. So you want to keep sliding down the bow, making sure that everything's straight. So you want to use the other one, the other tip as reference, and you want to keep your angle pretty much the same. So I'm going to flatten it and make sure that it lines up through the handle. So now it's pretty much set. So you can see right in here, you've got this taper, gets a little thin, it gets thinner right here, and then it thickens up. So now we're going to do that to the other side. And so just so you can see the difference between the two sides now. All right. And once you've done the other side, we can move on. All right. So now that you've thickened this part and thickened this part, gonna flex it back so you can see already that there's more flex up here and that's okay this is just going to become a top loop so you see that now because we thicken the tips when you grab from the tips here 
we've actually got more of that even flexing. So what I'm gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw a string on this. I'm gonna show you how to string this up. So what you want to do is you want to take your bottom limb, which is this one, and put your string loop over that. Make sure that it's centered. Make sure that it's centered here. You want to run it up. And then you want to bring your leg in. You want to brace the back of your knee against the handle. And you want to push this forward until you can slip the tip over. You want to make sure that it's lined up and then you can relax. Okay. All right. So what you can see here is right in here it's too thin. So we're just gonna have to go back and thicken this. Other than that, other than that one weak spot, you can see that everything else looks good and that it's holding together. So let's go and fix that spot before we go any further. All right, so now you see how reflex this bow is. So now normally you could just, so if we string it up, we're gonna see another problem where this is just too much for the PVC to handle, it's going to collapse. There's nothing you can do about that. You know, so, like I said before, what you could do is you could just bend the limbs back and that would take care of it. That's inevitable, you're going to have to do that eventually, but this way we're able to take a little bit, you know, we're able to balance it out a little bit more so we don't have to do as extreme. You know, some bows actually almost have their entire flex put in, and that really kills the performance. So what we're going to do now is we're going to heat this up so that the tips are, uh, right now, okay, so right now, if you can see, we've got a good, what was it, what that be? We've got a good six and a half inches of reflex here. What we're going to do is to preserve this bow, we're going to flex the limbs back till we get about four inches. You know, three to four inches of reflex. So the way we're going to do this is we're just going to gently heat in here because this is where it's bending the least, right in here. And we're going to just kind of flex this back a little bit. Now you don't really need to get this too hot, it just needs to be hot enough for it to bend. And we're doing about a 4 inch section out from the handle. So, so that's about where we want it. So you just gotta make sure that it's straight. Out of it. And then you want to do the other side. Okay, so now you want to go and make sure that both sides are even at this four inch. So just do what you did with the other one. Make sure that it's lined up straight. Make sure that you don't over flatten it or that it's not too thick, you know, and this a bow like this, it's going to take a couple tries before you get it right. And 
you know, it's going to take a couple bows before you come up with a really good one. So this is more of an advanced PVC bow. Nowhere near the kind of skill you would need for a comparable uh, horn and sinew composite, but still it's, it's tricky and it's got its challenges. So, just gonna keep going, all right. And then I'm gonna take it and just make sure that it's even. So, we've got a little, a little less flex here. And there you go. So you see, you've got it fairly even, resting on both tips. All right, so let this sit for five minutes, and then we'll string it up. Okay, so here's the bow, it's done. What you wanna do is you wanna make a quick check. These tips need to be aligned. If they're not aligned, then when you string this up, what's gonna happen is the string is gonna slip off of this, and it's gonna go bang. So, just make sure it's strung up, or it's straight. So, we've got this flex here, and you can see we've still got a good amount of reflex on this bow. So, now what you want to do is you want to put the string loop on your lower limb, like I said earlier, and then just string up your bow. And you want to make sure that the string is centered so you can see that for the most part so you can see that the string runs down the center on both of these you see that now when you look at the bow itself you're going to see that one side has more flex and the other side has less flex Okay, so what, what happened is that one limb ended up being weaker. And like I said, it's okay, we'll just make it the top limb. So when you shoot, this will be the limb on top, and this will be the limb on the bottom. So, now, I haven't drawn this yet. One of the great things about PVC pipe bows is that once you've finished it, if everything lines up, which it's, it looks pretty much perfect, you can draw it. So here we go. So you want to put your hand in line with this line you made. And then just make an imaginary line until you put a knocking point on this. You just want to bring it back. Just bring it back to a little less than full draw a couple times. Now you're going to hear this, this noise. That's the wood inside of the, uh, the pipe. Once you shoot this a few times, that'll go away. It's not an issue. So again, you can draw it back. And now a bow like this can be drawn quite a bit. So if you can see, being drawn all the way back here. And there you go. So this is a lightweight bow. Uh, Next video, I'll show you how to weigh it and how to finish it up, and I'll show you some other things you can do in other tip styles. But for right now, here's your PVC horse bow with wood seeds. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.